What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick. As always, you can call me Touch Ninja, and I welcome you to some early gameplay footage from South Park: The Fractured Butthole. <laughs> Just, I can't even say it without. Getting, I can't. I can't do it with a straight face. But anyways, this was captured at a Ubisoft event that I attended last weekend in San Francisco, and I thought I would like to share some gameplay with you guys. Oh, did you get locked out? I'm afraid little Eric put a lock on the door to keep me out. I'm sure he has the passcode written down here somewhere. So this game is a direct sequel from The Stick of Truth that I absolutely love playing. It takes place literally the next day after the events of Stick of Truth. As you can see, we have the crown because we, as the new kid, we were anointed king. Uh, but now the kids are on to something else. They're on to superheroes, Marvel slash DC stuff. So we needed to get a passcode to get into the basement lair. And we have to go to Carbon's room to find it. And as you can probably tell, the gameplay and the... Visually, it's about the same as you would expect. It looks exactly like the South Park cartoons. One thing I did notice in this pre-alpha build, though, is that the gameplay runs a lot smoother than it did in the Stick of Truth. Even though the games look the same, Stick of Truth at some points had a little bit of frame rate issue. Yeah, yeah, well, let's just move on. <laughs> uh, the Stick of Truth had some frame rate issues at certain parts, uh, but in this pre-alpha build, the specific section that I played just ran... As you can see, there's a password. Uh, the game ran silky smooth. And yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the Sick of Truth. And although, as you can see right here, you probably get through this demo within like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but I wanted to see as much as I possibly could. So I, I did a lot of exploring. Find some interesting stuff, as you would expect in Cartman's mom's room. So yeah, um, I absolutely loved the first game. It was hilarious, even though I, I really didn't watch anything past the first three seasons of South Park. Uh, anything past that, I didn't really watch. So there were a couple jokes that were mixed in there that I didn't get. And as you can see right here, <laughs> sitting on the toilet, uh, it took me a second to figure out how to drop one, but I eventually figured out. CONCENTRATE! Mmm... That was... <laughs> stained underwear! <laughs> forgot about that. You need that safety harness. So yeah, there were a couple of jokes in the Stick of Truth that I didn't get. Uh, but it was still hilarious the entire way through. I'm assuming this game is still gonna have the Easter eggs as well. Yeah, fuck you, mom. Stop watching TV. Anyways, we're gonna head downstairs here, and then we're gonna enter kind of a, a cutscene. Fuck, 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 mom. <laughs> I just wanted to play around. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, I just wanted to hit fuck, fuck a million times. You, mom. That's not enough, mosquito. We have to act fast before the Freedom Pals can. If there is someone in this town who knows someone who works at Netflix, then we have to find that person today. But we were gonna start our franchise plan with movies. The Super Craig Netflix series comes later. We can start with the Netflix series. You know that's what Freedom Pals are thinking. But who in this town could have a connection to Netflix? It could be anybody. That is what we must find out, Fast Pass. Mosquito, you run ABLs on all known Freedom Pals activity. Human Kite and Fast Pass, see what you can learn about their POIs. Super Craig, just, I don't know, browse the internet or something. Let's go, Coon Friends! Uh-oh, I think we have an ordinary citizen snooping around. So this is the coon lair. I'm assuming this acts like the main hub of the game, like the backyard did in the previous game. I spent a little bit of time kind of just exploring, seeing what was all around here. But we'll shut up right here. Hey, 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 hey! Do not touch that! That device can blow up the entire Milky Way galaxy! Jesus, fuck! Mom! The new kid is trying to play with the cube of ultimate destruction! You be nice to all your friends, Eric. Be a good sharer. Good sharer? It'll blow up the fucking galaxies! Stupid bitch! Look, dude, we already told you, you can't play. You aren't a superhero. You don't have a costume. You don't have any superpowers. Freedom Pals are adding people to their franchise. We should be adding people to ours. This dork? Like, wearing a little crown? Does this look like a superhero to you? <sighs> all right, all right, have a seat, douchebag. That galaxy cube is a super powerful artifact from space, so don't touch it. Move along! I'm on confidential coon business!
Not there. That's Mysterion Seed. Not there either, stupid. Alright, in order to play superheroes, you have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? Oh boy, you're not even on Coonstagram, huh? Well, I guess I can create one for you. Fucking unbelievable. Let's see. So the first thing we need to fill out on your character sheet is your class. You know, what kind of superhero are you? Speedster. Ah, yes, like the Flash or Quicksilver. I like it. Okay, douchebag, but now, we need to find out what terrible thing in your past drives you. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. It's from that backstory that their powers gain meaning. Let's take you back to when you were just a child. You lay awake that night. Like so many other nights, you couldn't sleep because you knew you weren't like the other kids. You walked to the mirror. So this is going to be our origin story of how we became a superhero, and then we're going to dive right into kind of like the practice mode for the combat system, which is probably the most revamped thing. But we'll get to that in about a second after another dialogue scene here. You looked in the mirror and you felt alone. And that's when it happened. A loud noise. You swore you could hear your mother calling for help. You left your room. Out in the hallway, you saw two intruders in front of your parents' door. You had to stop them from hurting your parents. You knew you had the power to stop them. So for the first time, you called upon your speedster powers. As a super fast speedster hero, you bent space-time itself to spring into action with super speed. Once his atoms returned to their original positions, the intruder realized what he was up against. Damn, we weren't expecting a superhero to live here. Desperately, the intruder struck our hero. Take this! <laughs> Emboldened, his fellow intruder moved into the fray. You don't scare us, superhero. But the intruders were only moving closer to their demise. You hey, what's the kid doing now? Once charged, you only needed one turn to defeat the hapless intruders. First, you gave the second intruder a taste of your atom-smashing quantum fist! Ah! Shit, my atoms! With both intruders weakened, there was nothing they could do against the hero's final strike, a supersonic dash! A supersonic dash! Ah! Oof! He was just too speedy! With the intruders soundly defeated, you thought you were safe, until a third massive intruder entered the fray, bigger than the other two intruders combined! Ha <laughs> I just flushed one little shit, now here's one more! Before you could react, he swung his gargantuan fist into your small body, doing critical damage! <laughs> you were hurt, yes, but the intruder had made a critical mistake. He pissed you off. Summoning the last of your strength, you tapped into your ultimate ability, the Multiverse Strike! Multiverse Strike! So you beat them. All seemed to be okay. But then you finally reached your parents' door. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever and led you to fighting crime. You were too late. Because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow, that's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? All right, now you need to go out into the town and do superhero stuff. You know, help people and fight crime and dumb shit like that. There's some starting costumes in the wardrobe, and remember, if you ever want to try out a different class, just come talk to me. So that's the battle system. I decided to let Cartman kind of narrate you through the entire thing. He didn't really shut up the entire time, so I let him at it. So in this specific build, there was really only one class that we could choose, which was the Speedster. Uh, but as you heard from Cartman right there, you can actually at any point in the game 
switch to any class that you want and the developer told me actually that a little bit further into the game you could actually start taking powers from different classes and mixing them together and create like a hybrid class which is really really cool you're not pigeonholed to one specific class <laughs> from the one for the class that you choose at the very beginning of the game so that's awesome and, and get that character sheet completely filled out you're not playing with us until you do <laughs> Just back on the issue of or the talking about the battle system. It kind of works on as you saw like a grid Final Fantasy tactic sort of thing We're gonna do a, bit, a little bit of a fast-forward here. There's like a gap between the game But that's just how the demo is built. So we're gonna be inside of our New speedster costume. I wanted to explore to the right, but apparently there was really nothing there So we went left and now we want to grab this item right here And we actually need the assistance of another superhero on our on our friends list we're gonna call him in here. Clear for takeoff. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> Flying and farting requires very specific timing. <laughs> but we're gonna get it right uh, here. Yeah. Right. Yes! Got it! So just based on the topic of the battle system, hitting back to that, it was fun. It was a little bit confusing at first to figure out how the grid system actually worked. Uh, based on the attacks that you do, it actually, if there's not enough room on the grid, you actually cannot perform them. I was kind of stuck at some point while doing that. And yeah, my other concern is that it was fun in, at the very beginning, but I'm wondering as you get further along into the game, it was the same concern I had with the previous game if the battle system would just become a little bit too tiring just because you have to fight so many times uh, only time will tell if how well they incorporate it and kind of just keep it fresh throughout an entire game but we're going to come up to another cutscene right here and it's actually a pretty important and fun one so hopefully you guys enjoy it we were supposed to be a duo remember tweak yeah i remember so when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense. Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you. By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion. Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker! Good friends, deal with these assholes! Freedom Pals is the future, kid. I just hope you realize that before it's too late. Timmy as Professor X it just works on so many levels. It makes so much sense. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this fight. There's another cutscene at the very end as well, followed by a little trailer at the end as well. Mind the German subtitles. This is supposed to be... This is the Gamescom build that they were bringing to Gamescom. And the event was for people who couldn't make it to Gamescom. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think of the game. If you guys are excited for it, I'll definitely will be doing a walkthrough of it at the end of the year. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, have a class today. Fucking lasers! If I'm not your worst nightmare, I aspire to be. It's Craig time. I mean, super Craig time. Come and get me, dick. Shake it off! Car! Car! Stay out of the street, damn kids! Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. Clear! Clear! Ah. Maybe that'll knock some sense into you! You're on the wrong side of this new pin! Time. 
Flow. Craig, no! Ouch! We're supposed to be a team, Craig! We're fighting. I can't get by this! You don't have to be on their side, new kid. More than that to get through my tougher shielding. Sorry about this, Super Craig. Oh, oh dude. Alright, my turn. Wrong team. my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Why did we choose this life? Why did we become superheroes? We dedicate our lives to fighting crime for one reason. To make a billion dollars on a superhero franchise. Now let's go through the plan one more time. First, we start with a Coon movie. Then we do the Super Craig movie. Then Super Craig and Coon will join forces in the Human Kite movie just as we start ramping up Kenny's Netflix series. How come I have to have the Netflix series? I want a movie too. You have a movie, Mysterion. You're in the third Coon and Friends United movie after your Netflix series. Yeah, but he's saying he doesn't ever get his own movie. Do I get my own movie? Not everyone gets their own movie! The franchise plan sucks! If we want to make billions of dollars, then I think we should start with the Tupperware movie! Right, start with a black superhero. 
Marvel is making a black superhero movie. Yeah, now! They waited years to get to that! We follow their plan, we do all the real people first, and we sneak the black guy in in phase three! How about we just do movies starring all of us, like all the time? But then we're just rehashing the same old material! There's nothing wrong with doing the exact same movie to start a franchise! Okay, J.J. Abrams. Okay, oh, okay, so you're on Cartman's side? He just likes this plan because he gets two movies in phase one. God! We have to just go with this plan! We don't even have one movie yet! How did it get to this? How did we grow so far apart? You go with the plan, maybe we'll just go and do our own franchise. Yeah! Yeah! Oh! You want Civil War? Is that what you want? Yeah, dude, it's Civil War. Fuck you. Oh, fu oh, fuck you! Get out of my house! We'll make way more money on our franchise! Go ahead, I bet you don't even get halfway through phase one on your franchise, DC Comics! I thought Civil War wasn't supposed to happen until phase three. Shut up, Super Craig! I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Did I just hear someone use a microaggression? <laughs> 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 <laughs>